What's going on, guys? Being late for here, and uh, before we get started, disregard the rain in the background. It's freaking boring, but uh, screw it. Um, this is gonna be my first diecast video, my first video period, but my first diecast video, pretty much of this NASCAR season. Uh, I think I might have had a couple uh, thoughts and reactions video for uh, videos for NASCAR Authentics early on this year, but other than that, I really haven't done anything diecast wise on my channel this year, this NASCAR season. Um, I don't know. I just haven't been feeling it this year, but I'm at that point in the season where I'm just like, okay, I need to get back into it. The diecasts, I, uh, the diecasts themselves I've been doing, but the videos have just been, like, uh, not of interest to me this year, I guess, but I need to get back into it, uh, so I'm gonna do that, and, uh, this first video to get back into it is gonna be just an update of everything that I've gotten, and just to show you everything since we last, we last spoke, so, uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see, starting off with the Kyle shelf, uh, this one is new, the, uh, new Skittles paint scheme, the, uh, two new Snickers cars are new, this one actually, actually, like, doesn't even exist anywhere yet, um, but at Fanatics at Pocono this last weekend, swept by Kyle Busch, um, and I will be uploading the, uh, the truck series and the, uh, cup series reaction videos from now, from those, so, uh, be on the lookout for those in the next couple days, um, but yeah, the almond one on Saturday morning at like eight o'clock when I got there, when the fanatics things were opening, um, I just kind of stood there waiting for Kyle's to open because I really had nothing better to do, um, and no on track activity was going on yet. So I was just like, screw it, I'll just wait and I'll go shopping before any on track activity goes on. And there it was, and I was like, what the heck? And the guy said that they literally were the first ones to get them, and uh, they had just put them out like an hour before I got there like when they were getting set up so that was pretty damn cool um what else here the new halloween card this one right here with the purple 18 um other than that nothing really else is new um i have the uh sweet heat skittles coming in the mail in the next couple days so uh that'll be added um and then we're gonna have i think flavor vote is gonna be coming out uh you know, what else? I'm trying to think. The Martinsville win is coming out soon, the playoff one. Um, uh, speaking of Kyle 124s, so we'll get to that in a second. But uh, other than, um, I'll save that for last, though. Um, so, over here, nothing else has really changed. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I guess I'll just finish that while I was already in the middle of it. These, all these cars that are here are basically flea market cars or 07 racing collectibles cars, mostly like 90% flea market cars. When I say 07 racing collectible cars, I basically mean a good few over here, um, like good deals that I find, but they're mostly flea market cars. Um, like for instance, these two junior ones are 07. Uh, and then I think that Denny Hamlin back there is one. There's a f good handful that I got at 07 racing collectibles, but most of these are flea market or like shit like that um the stand cars are are all flea market basically um and then same with these 124s um as far as the decals go you could probably notice a good few that are new i'm not going to go through all of them but you probably notice the new ones uh so this thing in case you just saw a glimpse of it i got it at a at a convenience store that i did work for i uh I've since quit that convenience store job that I had since we last spoke. I quit that job and uh, got a job merchandising with Red Bull. And this one convenience store in the Poconos, I delivered a cooler there. And they uh, they told me I can have this after the Pocono race weekends. So right after the race, I went over there and just grabbed it. <laughs> they were like, yeah, we told you you can have it. Take it. I was like, yes. So, um, but just to point out a few highlights of the new ones, the Bubba one is new. The Jimmy Johnson is new. This Truex one is really dope. I like this one. All these ones in this frame right here are new. The junior one, the two junior ones, the Truex and the Austin Dillon, Joe Gibbs. All these up here are new. Eric Jones is a new one. Petty. Uh, so there's a good bit of new ones. And I'm going to continue doing this. And then when I get a new shelf as well, I'm going to do it on that one too. Because you guys can see up here and here and here. And on these shelves too. I'm freaking just running out of space. So, yeah, a new shelf or two is definitely in the realm of possibilities for the next 
month or so after everything fills up. Um, but going through here, uh, I'll stop at every new one. Austin Dillon, uh, American Ethanol, that's a NASCAR Authentic. That one's new. Harvick Outback, which I got at the uh, at one of the merchandise tents outside the track at Pocono. Uh, Ryan Blaney's new paint scheme is new. Denny Hamlin's new one. Uh, Suarez Stanley is new. Um, Eric Jones's DeWalt is new. Uh, let's see. The two new Larson paint schemes right here. We have the uh, DC Solar and the Credit One, both of which I got in Pocono this past weekend. Uh, Daryl Wallace, or Bubba Wallace, um, his two new paint schemes, the uh, STP and the uh, Click and Close. And then uh, finally moving on to Truex. The only new one I've gotten so far, because this is the only new one that's really been released so far, is the uh, Bass Pro Shops one. And then when Auto Owners comes out, dude, I love the new Auto Owners paint scheme for them with the big A on it. It's freaking dope. I can't wait for that to come out. Um, and then down at Hendrick, we have the uh, two new Bowman cars right here, the uh, Nationwide and Exalta. And then Jimmy Johnson, we have his new Lowe's for Pros one. And then Chase Elliott right there, we have the three new nine ones, the Napa, the Hooters, and the Mountain Dew. So, uh, yeah, for those that didn't know, I have the uh, the Hendrick shelf right here because Hendrick takes up a ton of space. And this shelf, the shelf was empty when I decided to do it, so I was like, screw it, I'll just make a... A whole new a whole one for Hendrick cars and then this one is NASCAR Authentics and or generation 6 that is in Kyle Busch and then up here is just straight up Kyle Busch and then over here is just this one is stand cars this one is other 124s and then this one is just random shit um, and now for the good part of this video boom I started getting into 124s with this new job um, because I'm making a lot more money, so that means I can afford to collect 124s. And as I've been doing it for a couple months, well, not a couple months, more like a month, but um, I can see why people put money into these. They are fucking beautiful. Um, now, the way I'm going to do the 124s is, because that's the big announcement for this update video, is basically the fact that 124s are going to start entering my life. Um, so... How I'm going to do it is, Kyle, it's going to be mostly Kyle, but then if I find other drivers, like deals for other drivers, I'm going to snag those too. Or if it's just like an irresistible paint scheme that I have to buy for retail price for another driver, then I'll do that. But mostly it's going to be deals for other drivers. The rest will just be Kyle. So, and the highlight is the Bristol Sweep set, um, which I got for 135 on eBay. So I got it for a friggin' deal. I might do a whole video based on just that. Um... Just my opinion on it and everything because it's fucking gorgeous. Actually, I don't even have to do a whole, a whole video because that is my opinion. It's freaking amazing and so worth the price. Um, so you have the Banfield one, the Nos, and the Carmel. Uh, just awesome. As a Kyle Busch fan, it's just a must-have. It's let's let's just be real. If you're a Kyle Busch fan, it's a must-have. This one you guys know I've had for a while. This this five one I got it. Uh, one of the merchandise tents outside of Pocono at the June race. And then these two I just got this past weekend, also outside the track. So, um, yeah, that's the 124 Kyle collection so far. Um, and then the other random 124s over there. But I'm going to get a shelf for other 124s that I get, Kyle and non-Kyle. Um, like, like I was talking about new shelves before. I might get one just strictly for 124s and then one just strictly for 164s. So uh, I'll figure that out when the time comes, which might be really soon. So, uh be on the lookout for a new shelving and some new setups and everything in the coming weeks. And, uh, that's basically it guys. Uh, Watkins Glen is coming up this weekend and I am going. So, uh, I will be, I might do a vlog for that one because I've done a Pocono vlog before, but I never did one at Watkins Glen because I never really made NASCAR videos. The last time I went to Watkins Glen, which was 2014, 2015, I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, I might do a vlog for Watkins Glen. So, uh, and then I'll obviously do a uh, diecast and pickups video and everything for Watkins Glen, too. Um, so, yeah, that's about it, folks. Uh, just to give you a whole frame of the Kyle Shrine now. It hasn't really changed much, but there's a few new things on there you might be able to notice. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Uh, and then just I'll show you this whole one in a frame. And then that whole one. So, yeah. The, uh, the die casts are coming along great. I, I love collecting die casts. It's like, people just think it's like collecting toy cars and that's it. It's so much more than that. It's so much fun. So, 
uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying the hell out of it. Um, and I'm going to continue to enjoy the hell out of it with the 124. It's coming into play. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, more will be coming up.